All right, welcome back. We are at Bijou, Bijou, Bijou Park in Bijou. South Lake Tahoe. It's a 27 hole course in this super wooded area. It's a really nice looking course. It's a bit cold outside. We got snow on the ground. All right, we're onto the first hole. It looks like we're in pin position A, which is about 254 feet par three. And I'm here with deer. I know. I know. I walked by your house. I was walking the dogs today. I walked by your house today. I see you get your number. Oh. Yeah, oh. sure. Beautiful first drive into a, a tree. Rule number one of disc golf, take off your backpack before throwing the disc or get a well-deserved bogey. Hole number two, looking at 220 feet right now. Don't hit it. My luck continues. I plowed another tree. Hole three is a very short hole to the left. Uh, I think we're on BTs and it's about 288 feet. That's what the sign says. Missed another pretty good birdie shot. Binked it off the, the bottom of the basket again. We're getting there. All right, we're hole four now. This one's actually pretty cool. It's open. It's over an open field. And I think we're in hole position A, which is 331. If it was a, at position D, it'd be a par four. I'll show you the map really quick. We're at A right now. Nice open field. Oh, Got pretty bad grip lock on that one, but the disc managed to stabilize itself and pull back to the left. Oh. Well, it happened. I hit a tree. Yeah. On to hole five. This one's pretty far actually. 417 feet, which is pretty long. Oh. Thanks, dude. Bye, dear. All right, we're dead center. It was actually a pretty good drive. Two over through five, which is not good. Hole six, 284 feet. There's a giant snowball in the middle of the, the fairway. Nice. Indiana Jones. <laughs> All right. Not not quite Indiana Jones. <laughs> get in, get in. I missed three birdie shots by less than two feet already, but I can't complain about a par. Lefty. On to hole seven. Only 20, oh God. Only 20 more holes to go. <laughs> I forgot. Ace, get in. Birdie POV. Sniffles are coming. 
pole eight, 250 feet. Yeah. It's a great, great drive off the tee, but I, I threw it too far, which is a problem I'll, I'll be glad to have. You wanna go ice skating, dear? Hole nine, we are looking at par three, 363 feet. We're gonna throw the catalyst, which is a 13, 5.5, negative two and two. I just bought this at a local local shop around here. I think it was called Cafe Disc. P pretty nice disc. They had a good selection. See how it goes. Rough drive, good approach, should be an easy par. One over after nine holes. And surprisingly, I'm not freezing my ass off. Hole 10, it's either 420 or 426. We are entering the valley now. It's very open over here. Not a birdie, but a easy par again. We'll get there. Then watch out. Hole 11, nice straight short hole. I think we're on A, which is 248 feet. I'm looking up. Oh. Not the best drive. Seems I'm trying hard to get bogeys instead of birdies. Hole 12, sidearm throw. Yeah, 334. Come here. Come here, Bruce. Come here. Hole 13, we are at 270 feet. And I am currently on a power run. I haven't, I haven't birdied or bogeyed. Right. Hey, disc didn't flip over, but it hit a tree and bounced to the right. Feet are cold now. All right, I got shafted. I missed a, I would say 40, 40 foot birdie putt. Binked it into the, into the basket. And then as I was retrieving my disc, when I, when I did make it, I stepped into about six inches of water. So now my toe is, or my foot is wet. Everything's going well. It's really nice right now. Good thing it's not snowing and it's not cold. It's cold. Oh yeah, it's cold. <laughs> Hole 14. C is a 384. We're not we're not the 515 yet. Oh. <laughs> we're putting into another lake. Hole 15. Straight up the hill. Very simple. 278 feet. Par three, managed to save my par on that last putt. A little, little scary, but we're continuing the par run. I think that's eight, eight pars in a row. Hole 16, this one's a very long downhill. Still par three. I think we're at position, it's either A or B, which is I think four, 420.
birdie. Now we're even. Hole 17, par three again, pin position A, 275 feet straight, straight down the middle. Bogey POV. Hole 18, we are at position, I think A or C or B, and it's about 300, 300 feet. Well, I had an, an issue following through. So this time I actually followed through, but then I put the disc in the ground and then it had two gigantic skips, which actually probably want an extra 50 feet. So now we have a pretty, pretty long, probably 60, 70 foot putt right here. Moving to hole 19, 17. 17 was a bogey. I don't know if I said that or not. 18 was a par, so I think I'm one over. I haven't looked at my U-disc yet, but we're on to hole 19. Yes, All right, hell yeah actually sunk that birdie. So now we're back, back to even, I think. That was a good birdie to get. On to hole number 20. Pretty much a straight shot, it's looking like. Pin position C, 351 foot shot. Pretty, pretty straight. This hole looks really good. All right, that was a really nice throw. I just over gripped it a little bit and plowed it into this tree. Next shot. That's two trees in a row. Oh no. All right, I am falling apart on this hole. I just shanked my shot. Could save this bogey, but the fact that I'm trying to save a bogey is pretty rough. Please. No. All right, I saved that. That was honestly pretty scary. Um, 354, par three again. Really nice open area, a lot of trees, but still a clear route. I don't know what's happening, but maybe anything over 18 holes is not what my body's used to anymore. This summer I was playing about two, almost three rounds a day, every single day for a while, for about two months straight. See if I can pull it together right here. All right, that was good. Good approach, I should be able to par this one. On to hole number 22. Thinking this was a 273 feet. Pretty open area. A couple of guardian trees at the basket. Oh. Have I told you how much I love trees? Don't. Oh, no way. All right, that's another tree. This is not looking like a par hole. This looks like another bogey. Hole 23, pretty short hole, 246 feet. After that last hole I bogeyed, I'm two over now. So I, I just need to try to hold it together for these last few holes. No. Very bad drive. 
Looks, looks like I'm not holding it together as well as I want to. Hole 24. I think we're at B or D, which is gonna be around 350 feet. Good drive. A little to the right, but I had a, a big skip, which helped me out. Came way left, but that'll work. All right, part that. We're almost there, hole 25, 270 feet. And it's an open field, but there's a lot of trees around it back there. So I'm just gonna try to get a nice straight shot right here. I parked it because it bounced really well off the, the tree and then slid on the ice. Woo! Oh yeah, easy par or easy birdie. All right, hell yeah, that was an easy birdie. Luckily I got that really nice bounce. Um, now we're on to hole 26. We are looking at 243 feet. Man, the second, <laughs> the second I get a birdie, I go to the next hole and drive it into a tree. I still have an approach shot, but I was hoping to get one more birdie by the time I finish this, because I'm currently one over right now and I want to end at least even. Come back, there we go. Oh my God, oh my God. Bounced it off this tree though and completely saved my shot. That was a par. Hole 27, it's 231 feet. Go right, please. Fuck. All right, not the best drive. All right, it's do or die. I gotta make this 10 foot putt to not get a bogey. I did not think of, of me actually getting a bogey on this hole, but here we are. All right, we're done. We're done with Bijou Park, Bijou, South Lake Tahoe. I ended one over. I'm gonna add my UDIS score. That was a really good park. Everything is set out perfectly. It's really not that hard to find the next hole. Just one by one, really, really good park. 27 holes is pretty crazy. I ended one over, pretty proud of that. Managed to save it at the end. I was, I was falling apart on 20, 20, and I think 20, 21, and 22 were a bit rough, but yeah, that was a good round. And I'll see you in the next one.